I just had to shoot another video of uh, some of my harvesting of my black gold, which we call worm castings. Last year I had started a two bucket Home Depot bucket system. So this one has holes drilled into the bottom of it with a burlap sack in the bottom for a filter. And I just put it right into another bucket where I just harvested about maybe two gallons of worm compost tea for my plants. But now I'm harvesting the worm castings. So when I start off, I'm going to put all the worms I'm taking out into a new bed, which will be in here again, which is just shredded newspaper, shredded cardboard, coffee grounds, um, some of the inoculated worm castings with all these worms in here. These are the worms I'm collecting. These are red wigglers. But this is going to go for my plants for fertilizer. That's what they call this black gold. This stuff goes for a dollar a pound. It's very nutritious. You can actually grow anything in just pure worm castings and they would be fully nutri nutrient dense plants everything will grow in worm castings alone but uh, it's kind of hard to get tons of it which is why I have a lot of organic matter and wood chips in my my garden because underneath that is all the earthworms and they're producing worm castings along with potato bugs which produce frass but I got the sunlight on it so they go down deeper so I just start scraping the top and you see all the worms But this is just all the way down. There's probably about, oh, there was three gallons of worm castings here, which dried out a little bit. It would be about 30 pounds, about $30 worth of worm castings that I had bought in the past. So, but all I gotta do is just keep throwing my kitchen scraps out there, maybe some, some oatmeal, just keep it moist keep throwing in newspaper and they just eat everything down so here's your lesson in making your own worm castings now in the summertime it gets too hot so I can't keep them outside and I always keep these in the garage and I have an evaporative cooler in my garage so it stays uh, pretty moist and cool so they uh, survive the summer that way because outside they won't survive in the heat in Arizona Winter times might get a little chilly too, so they're stayed at a pretty more even temperature if you keep them in the garage with evaporative cooling. So here's free fertilizer. <laughs> 